Hello everyone, it's Teresa here. Today we're going to do a simple craft activity to help us to think a little bit more about um, how we can love our neighbours as Jesus told us to. So I'm going to tell you all the things that you need to complete this craft first of all. You can then pause the video while you've got everything and then we'll start. So the items that you need are a piece of A4 paper, it doesn't matter what colour that is. You need a pencil and a pen or some colouring pencils. You'll need a pair of scissors and some sellotape and that's it. So once you've got everything, the first thing you need to do is fold your piece of A4 paper in half vertically so that you make two very long thin rectangles. So it should look like that, okay? Then open it out and cut along that fold line to make two long strips of paper. And what we're going to do with this piece of paper is we're going to do some clever folding to make it into a concertina shape. Now, if you don't know what that means, don't worry, your, your, your mum or dad or your adult with you should hopefully know. So take one piece and just fold it in half, first of all and then open that half up and we're going to fold this half into three and the way that we're going to do it is first of all with the fold inwards we're going to fold a third towards that middle bit don't worry it'll all become clear in a minute so you'll end up with a bit that looks like this, like a little flap inside a book. And then with that, you're going to turn it back on itself to the middle line so that you end up with a bit that it goes sort of zigzaggy like that. And then we're going to do exactly the same with the other side, folding it back on itself and making a concertina fold um, and one more. So you'll end up with your strip of paper folded into six sections uh, that go zigzaggy in and out like that. Okay, now this is when we get to do the fun bit. We're going to make it into a paper doll chain. Now it might be that the grown up who's with you has done one of these before and they'll be able to help you and show you. But what you're going to do is on the front of it with it folded up, you're going to draw a person. Now I'm gonna quickly draw my person and then I'll show you how you need to do this because there's just a couple of bits that you need to make sure you get right for it to work. So there we go I've drawn the head and then I've drawn the two arms but can you see how the arms come right to the very edge of the paper with no hands you don't need any hands and then the same with the legs they've come right to the very edge of the paper with no feet now this is where it gets really fun you need your scissors if you need some help cutting out um, ask your grown-up to help and you're going to cut out your person very carefully it doesn't matter if you don't follow the lines exactly can you see you've just cut that bit there because uh, the magic will happen in a minute when we come to open it out so cut round the head and round the other arm and between the arms and the legs and you should end up with your little person like that. Now, if you're very careful, as you unfold it, you'll discover you've made a whole chain of people. Isn't that fun? I love these, they're really good fun, aren't they? So, this is a really lovely way to help us to think about what Jesus said in the parable of the Good Samaritan, which you can read for yourself in Luke chapter 10 if you'd like to. Now, Jesus told us then that we should love our neighbour. And uh, this is a great reminder of all these lovely little people um, holding hands, loving one another. Now, what you might like to do next is get your pen. Think about the people who are your neighbours. They might be uh, the people who literally live next door to you or they might be uh, your family. And just pop their names. Uh, it might be your mum or your sister or uh, let's say your neighbour called Bob. And you're going to write their names on. Or if you're not very good at writing yet, you can draw them on. You can make lovely smiley faces. Now, I'm not very good at drawing people. I'm sure you can do a better job than me at that. You could make each one different, give them different colour hair for different people so that you know. Oops, there we go. 
That one looks funny, doesn't it? He looks a bit sad, actually, doesn't he? My pen slip, then. Um, all the different people that you love and care about. Now, remember, you've only got six people here, but you still have another strip of paper, so you can do the whole thing again, and then, when you've done that, you'll end up with two like this so you've now got 12 people that you love and care about who may not all be people that you live with or they may not all be people that you can see at the moment because we're having to stay away from people but that's when you can get your piece of tape and you can join up the two bits by just taping around the arms and the legs of the one on either end and you can make your chain as long as you like. It might be that you've got family and friends who live far, far away, in different countries even, or all over the world. People that you could help and love by praying for them. You know, praying for people is a great way to show love for them. So there we've got, you've got your names on there. You can draw your faces on it, decorate it or color it however you want. Make as many as you like, make it a really long chain find somewhere fun to put it. Now, if you're a little bit big and you think this is a bit silly or childish, then I've got a challenge for you to make it extra hard. You're going to do it with a really thin strip of paper. So you're using uh, the long part that you've got, make it as long, and fold it really small like this it gets really thick because you're doing lots and lots of folds and you're going to make a teeny tiny paper chain because the smaller you do it and the more folds there are the harder it gets so you're going to keep going like that all the way along and because you're doing small folds you end up with a very teeny tiny paper chain with lots and lots of people in need to be a little bit careful as you unfold it because it's a bit fragile so that's my challenge for you bigger ones make it see how small you can make it and how tiny the fold um, the folds are and you'll get tinier tiny tiny people you might just only be able to put an initial on each one of those but that will make it a bit of a challenge for you so hope you've enjoyed that I'd love to see what you make if you want to uh, send me a photo you can contact me uh, via our church website bye for now